And as you can see, uh, these berries are super plentiful in my area. So I'm going to, and here's a small amount here, uh, I'm going to collect just a handful full more of these and then I'm going to try to avoid picking more uh, until I actually make some uh, ink out of them and test them to see how well they do. But uh, they are super plentiful in my area so uh, obtaining them is not going to be difficult. Alrighty, so now that uh, I have my honeysuckle berries and I have a good supply of them. I'm going to mush those up while it's still in the plastic bag a little bit. But the other ingredients we're going to uh, use to make our ink is I have a jar that I can place the ink in. I have a little metal mesh screen that I, that I purchased at the Dollar Tree. Uh, I have a rock in which I am going to grind and mush up the berries and I have a half teaspoon of vinegar and a half teaspoon of salt which I'm going to mix in with the ink and uh, so right now I'm going to mush up these berries by hand in here a little bit try to get them mushed up as much as possible and I will get right back with you alrighty so I'm just going to spoon some of these berries in here And then I'm going to use my rock and just start smushing. So we're to continuing the the crushing of these berries. Now I must say, uh the liquid that I'm getting out of these berries is much thicker than I thought it would be. Uh, it's doing quite well and I'm actually getting more liquid than I thought I would be getting as well. So it's looking like I'm going to have a good supply of honeysuckle ink. Uh, now once I get this all crushed up and get the juices and stuff out of here, uh, I'm going to also use the uh, the pulp and seeds that uh, remain because uh, even though it's an invasive species here, uh, I really like the way it looks. And to be totally honest, I'm going to... Uh, plant some of this out in my yard because it's very ornamental and I like the way it looks so I will get right back with you when I get some more ink alrighty so uh, it made a whole lot more than I expected it to make it's about an inch down there uh, I have not added the uh, vinegar or the uh, salt yet what I'm going to do is get some paper, and I don't have an, uh, a quill pen or anything, so what I'm going to do is uh, sharpen a stick uh, of some sort, just something that I can uh, test it with to see, and I want to test it before I add the, uh, the salt and the vinegar, just to see how it looks beforehand. So I'll get right back with you. So I'm going to go ahead and use the ink. Like I said, I made this little pin type thing just out of a straw. I mean, it's nothing effective or anything, but I just want to see how this ink works. And like I said, it's just the juice. There's nothing added. So let's see what we got here.
there we go let's maybe add a little bit here to if I can clearly I should have a quill pen available to me to do this which I don't have right now ill prepared I'm an ill prepared prepper anyway there we go uh, we'll go ahead and let that dry and uh, get right back with you alrighty so while we're letting that dry I went ahead and added the vinegar and the salt because it was pretty thick and uh, we'll see what we got here Oh, that works better. Works a lot better. Now that definitely worked a whole lot better. So uh, we're going to go ahead and let that dry. There we go. The top one is uh, the ink uh, made straight from the berry without any additives. And the bottom one is the vinegar and salt mixture. So that's going to take a while to dry. Uh, as soon as it dries, I'll get back with you and uh, we'll compare the two. Alrighty, so here's the results of the uh, the ink. The top one right here, this one was just the berries by themselves. This bottom one here was the berries with the vinegar salt mixture. And this one actually did a whole lot better. So uh that's what it looks like all right so here is the honeysuckle ink uh, after i have uh, dried it in the dehydrator so now it's a nice little nice little hard piece and i can store it now and uh, whenever I need ink, all I have to do is just uh, rehydrate it with uh, some water or uh, some kind of oil or alcohol, and it will be ink again.